Hi, this is Greg with California GSP Rescue, and I'm on my way to meet Irene and Ray. They are previous adopters, supporters of the rescue, and recently came upon a GSP needing help. They're calling Butchie. The story is hard to believe when they first told me, so stick with me. We're going to see Butchie, a couple other dogs, which are part of the package, and hear the story. I just got to the place I'm meeting Irene and Ray, and let's go see who they have. Okay, I'm here with Irene and Ray, and this is Butchie, and this are the two puppies that came with them. The owners of these dogs are out of town for the holidays, and they left their kid in charge. And I don't know if he was feeding them daily or what, because he looked yeah, he looks, I can see his hips there. Yeah. Anyways, so he jumped the fence, which is probably a six foot chain link, but they had bushes, so he either climbed up over the bushes and killed a couple of their chickens. So they caged them, and they called the owner, and the owner says, oh, just put them down. You know, shoot them, bury them. Well, when we get to the house, the guy says, well, if you take the dad, you can have the two puppies free. Take. And that's how we ended up. And that was the son of the owner? They were the neighbor. He spoke to him over the phone. Okay. So that's basically all we know about. Wow. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. This is Butchie, guessing about a year and a half. And where did he come from? Springville, California. During the holiday, New Year's, we were at a restaurant and we met the bartender and her husband and we were talking to him and told him since we are avid bird hunters and we do have bird dogs at home, German short hairs, he says, oh, my neighbor has some that they want to get rid of because he attacked their chickens that they have there. So what happened, one thing led to another and we says, okay, well, we know the GSP rescue. Maybe they'll be interested in taking the dogs off your hands because they, they can't control them. So we met up at their house and he called the owner and he told them that if we take the mail, you can have the two male puppies as well for free. It was by chance they met us. And since we are GSP lovers, that's how we ended up with them. We just learned that Butchie has some separation anxiety and likes to chew car seats. All can be managed. So I just left Irene and Ray, and what a great dog. This Butchie, he's between a year and a half and two years old. He's young, very sweet, affectionate. You can see he's, in the short amount of time Irene and Ray have had him, he's really attached himself amazing amazing that the owner would say go ahead and shoot him after he got the neighbor's chickens not the neighbor the owner of butchie said shoot him that's crazy so when they showed up to get butchie they gave them the puppies which is absolutely crazy ray mentioned they were in a crate irene said that they were in a cage she called it a raccoon cage, and they couldn't believe they survived the night outside in this cage. Just crazy. It's, they're in the mountains, and it's, it's cold. Looking forward to evaluating Butchie, seeing if he gets along well with other dogs. Obviously, loves people like GSPs do, and we're going to find him a forever home. Irene and Ray are previous adopters and supporters of California GSP Rescue. They're well aware of how we operate and they know what we're about. We don't know what Butchie's fate would have been had they not been there that day and learned about him. But we've since learned that Butchie is an escape artist. Butchie's slowly coming around. He is absolutely warmed up to everyone. We're working on getting him plenty of exercise and helping with dealing with the issue. It's been a challenge because someone has to be present when he's being exercised. Otherwise, he'll go over a fence. Oh, you're good. Yes. Yeah, he is. Sit. 
Yeah. Oh, look at that. You were, you were doing better. Here, sit, sit, sit. Good. See? It's not often that someone goes to rescue a two-year-old German Shorter Pointer and they end up with two puppies. We want to send our sincere gratitude to Irene and Ray for helping not only Butchie, but Lucky and Bucky. And I got Lucky here. We named Lucky because he has a little longer tail. They crop Bucky's tail just a little short. I don't know why they would do that. In California, it is legal for somebody to shoot a dog that is attacking their livestock. However, it's not often that the owner would say, put down the dog if they attack someone else's livestock. That we're having a hard time understanding. There's so many alternatives and clearly we're gonna find the best one for Butchie and Lucky and Bucky. If you want to help, we would like you very much to share this video and help us find homes for all three. I want to thank the rescue heroes. Without your support, there is absolutely no way we could take on what we've taken on the past several months. We have to feed, care for the dogs. We had several vet bills in December. Uh, just, it's been nonstop. We've been back to see Dr. Kong as well as Dr. Zigstad, just a lot going on. We appreciate your support. If you want to know more about becoming a rescue hero, click that, click that button right there. Thank you guys. Appreciate it.